Hello and welcome to the course. My name is Pablo Farias Navarro and I'll be your instructor. In this course, you'll create the puzzle game that you are looking at right now, where we can drag all of these puzzle pieces. We're located in the middle of the desert and we can try to solve an uh, ancient puzzle. So let's complete the puzzle and I will show you what happens once you complete. So notice how I can drag elements like so using the reticle, using gaze based interaction. And for that, we are building a component that can be dropped into any Unity project. So this is all very flexible and it's not tied to any platform's SDK. So it is all built with native Unity APIs. So let's now complete our puzzle. And when the puzzle completes, there is a giant pyramid coming out of the ground. So this is what the game looks like. And now let's have a look at the main learning goals of this course. Now our learning goals. You'll learn to create that amazing puzzle game in virtual reality from absolute scratch. We'll be developing a component that allows us to drag objects in virtual reality and that can be dropped into any Unity project. So you'll be building that from scratch. Also, in this course, we'll be covering some intermediate to advanced C-sharp concepts, such as delegates and events. And we'll be making extens extensive use of events in this particular game. So all of that will be uh, covered from the ground up. And we'll be doing a little bit of geometry as well and converting and working with local coordinates and global coordinates. As you saw, when you position a puzzle piece, it kind of rotates to match the rotation of the, of the panel. So there are a few things that we need to address in this, in this game. Um, this game, this uh, course, is, uh, besides teaching you how to create this amazing game, it's also a big invitation for you to get into virtual reality and use all of these things, not just for game, but for all kinds of applications. Everything that you learn in this course can be applicable to many different domains. So the sky's the limit and it's really up to you. This is a great time to get into virtual reality. Now, regarding our courses, we've been making courses since 2012 and taught programming online to over 200,000 students from all, our, all over the world, really. And something that we've learned is that um, students who follow along and also who work on their own projects have a much higher chance of getting the most out of the course and, and succeeding with their with their goals. We've seen the people that set uh, certain times in the week or days in the week where they sit and complete a few of the lessons um, definitely get more out of the course. And something that I like to repeat again and again is that there is not a unique good way of um, completing or for watching a course. It's really up to your own learning style. And in this course in particular, because we have these more advanced lessons, um, I would strongly recommend you to watch some of the videos more than once. You have lifelong access to all the material. And um, a lot of the times it's important to watch the lessons again to revisit some important programming concepts. All right, so that is all for this introduction. And now let's get started and let's uh, create a game design document for our game and then go straight into programming and really cool game development stuff.